Joshua, you look amazing. Thank you. I actually, you know what? It was one of those uh, fabulous uh, happenstance that I forgot I had this dress and I knew the event was coming up and I was looking all over town for something to wear and I was like, there you go. I forgot it was in my closet. And you have the perfect dress already. I know, crazy, right? Ah, so tell us about your documentary that's coming up. It's being released at the end of August, right? Yes, actually, I, I'm blessed to be in this documentary. It's called Give Me Shelter, and it uh, covers everything uh, animal welfare-wise, uh, everything from Taiji to uh, puppy mills to what really goes into making fur. Very uh, uncomfortable topics, but very important topics. So I'm really excited about it. Definitely, and are you a vegetarian or vegan or? I am vegetarian. I do, I'm not sure what the proper word is. I do still eat fish. Okay, pescatarian. There you go, that. But um, everything I wear is all animal friendly. Usually I try to shop vegan, all of that. All my products, I have my animal cruelty app on there on my phone, so I check everything before I buy it, make sure that there's nothing that's been tested on animals. And yeah. And do you have any pets at home? Actually, yes, I do. I have a, a boxer bull mastiff named Roxy, and unfortunately, my cat Minnie, I just had to put her to sleep about three weeks ago, but I just got her paw and my, my dog's paw tattooed on my, yeah. Oh, amazing. Where are they? Are they? Um, they're right here. So we can't show them right we, now, but they're on my- We're not gonna be able to. No, that way they walk with me wherever I go. Oh, okay, that's so nice. Yeah. And then what else have you got going on? Then you've got a music video? Yes, I have a music video that just came out by a, an artist by the name of Stax, who's phenomenal. So it's on YouTube, you can check it out. Um, I've got two radio shows. I just came from uh, Rock and Sexy over in the Valley uh, with Amber Lynn, and it's on uh, LA Talk Radio. You can listen online, or if you're in the LA area, you can listen on LA Talk Radio. And yeah, just keeping busy, you know. Yeah, amazing. What is it you sing in the shower then? If you have the, if you have a spare moment in the shower. Do I sing in the shower? No, but I jam out in my car. Absolutely. <laughs> and I don't care. Like I'll be the one that you'll pull up next to, and I'm like completely jamming out. And it'll be like rap or something. And I'll still keep going even when you're looking at me and I'll just wave. Like, I don't care, I have no shame. <laughs> that's amazing, that's amazing. I feel like you've got a lot, of, uh, a lot of talents that everyone knows about. Is there any kind of like hidden talents that people don't know about? Well, you know what, I, I, I'm in the process of writing a children's book. Um, I, uh, God, hidden talents. I can um, twist my arm all the way around and bend it backwards. Wow, can we have a demonstration? It's, I need something flat. Okay, can you use that? Can you use? Can you? Can you follow that? Yeah, yeah, we can totally follow this. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, can we see it? Can we see it yet? No, that's okay. Can you see? You got it. Are we ready? We're ready for this. Wow. <laughs> so that just happened. <laughs> that just happened. That's a pretty cool talent that not a lot of people know you had. So obviously you played in a, in a Sons of Anarchy. Yes. Um, and that's a bit of a crazy character, right? That's like, you, you were a porn star, so. Yes, I play very uh, bitchy, uh, goes after whatever she wants porn star, and uh, I love it, so much fun. That's fun. Do you prefer playing a kind of like bad girl to a good girl then? Bad girls always have more fun. I mean, it's so rare that I get to play the good girl that I almost don't even remember what it's like. But I, I, I really enjoy playing the bad girl because it's so far removed from my reality. Like, I usually, I'm at home on Friday nights. I play with my dog. I'm in bed by 8.30. Like, I, it's not wild and crazy. Like, I don't go out. I don't do anything like that. So um, being able to play the bad girl, it's like, it's your, you know, your other personality. It's, it's, it's a little escape. It's fun. Yeah. And did you learn any kind of tricks from it? Maybe like pole dancing or anything wild in the bedroom? That's another hidden talent, I guess. I have a pole in my house, so I do that. Um, and that actually came before I got the role, so that's kind of interesting. I, it, they kind of blended together. And you know, I've become friends with a lot of porn stars, and they're phenomenal human beings. You know, it's just their job, just like I go out and I do mine. Um, and you know, it, you, you can never judge a book by its cover, I'll just say that. You can never judge somebody because you never know what's going on in their life or where they came from or what their journey was, so. Yeah, completely. And um, if you could be any superhero for the day, who would you choose? Probably one that I, I, I don't know, is there like an invisible woman? Like she's invisible and goes around saving the world? I'd love to do that, just be invisible. So nobody knows it's me, but like I'm saving the world and animals and all that stuff. That would be my yeah. superhero. Maybe Invisa, we... Invisa save the world girl. Yay, we just invent a new superhero. Maybe we go. Maybe we could give you Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. Okay, there you go, I'll, I'll do that. That would rock, okay. that would rock. Okay, I'll speak to my people and see what I can do. Fabulous, let me know, I'll be inside sipping on a cocktail.
Yeah, no worries. It probably won't take more than five minutes. Okay, great. <laughs> work it out, girl. Work it out. We're on it. We're on okay. it. We're on it. It was so nice to meet you. Have nice an amazing to meet night. You too. Thank you and very good much. Good luck with everything coming up. Thank too. you. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you.